I think I found a bug. I meant to get on that ride, and I told it to get in a seat, and I'm not- I'm not in a seat. I'm not even kind of in a seat. I'm going through the ground. <laughs> what is happening? What's up guys and welcome to the finale of Planet Coaster. That's right, our giant pirate ship park is finally complete. A lot of people have been concerned that I ended the series because I've been gone for a few weeks, but the reason is because I wanted to actually finish the park. I mean, you guys have seen me build already, you understand how it works. I really didn't want to make an episode of me placing trees and bushes and the last few rides and the sails and stuff like that. It's not very entertaining to watch. So now that the park is complete, the building is done, we can just enjoy it. So I'm not really sure where to start. I do want to do more first person stuff. So we are going to pick a passenger and just experience the park through their eyes again because that's the most fun that I've had in this game yet. But I wanted to give you guys a bit of a tour as to how I built a lot of this stuff. Like the sails themselves, they're all little tiny squares that I painted black and angled to make it look like a sail and attached to the mast. And that's what I'm talking about. Like that took three or four hours. That's like an entire recording session. If I, if I made a video of me making sales, I feel like it wouldn't have been all that much fun to watch. But the final product, it's awesome. It makes it look like a pirate ship and less like um, an oil tanker like it used to. We also have two more roller coasters. We still have the Curvy Scurvy up at the top, which I'm going to want to ride again because it's still my favorite. I handmade that one. These other ones are workshop downloads. This one was the one that we placed last episode, but I moved it over because I felt like it fit a lot better over here. And I mean, it looks really seamless, right? It, it's very well placed in amongst all of the rest of the stuff. And then I managed to fit the Grog Wash up here at the front because it's a little bit smaller and it kind of looks a little bit better. Like There were a couple of things that I really wanted to do, but I just didn't have the time. I would have had to put off this episode a whole nother week and people would have freaked out. I really wanted to kind of make a figurehead at the front and probably put like a skull and crossbones on the sails by using white instead of black squares, but... You know, it's not super important. It's not something that you guys probably would have noticed unless I pointed it out. But other than that, this is pretty much my completed vision. We have lots of little parks, shops everywhere. You can't like move three feet without trying to buy something, which is pretty great. Um, I'm not really sure what else there is to point out. I might just try to find somebody and uh, maybe we'll experience it through their eyes. So let's get somebody who's coming into the park. Oh my God. Um. We got a bit of an issue. Oh, wow. I mean, there's nothing I could have done to fix this, right? I can't make the entrance any bigger. Oh, you know what it is? They all have to go through light line one to get up to the top of this ship and they have to wait to get in and then a bunch of people are getting turned away. Oh God, that's a, like they're even walking off the path. They're not supposed to be able to do that. They're supposed to be restricted to the pads, but they're so packed tits to tits, they have no choice. So, who do we want to become? I mean, I don't really want to be anybody who gets turned away. So why don't we pick somebody up here? I don't really want to be a kid either because they might not be able to ride on all of the cool rides. I want to go on the coasters and stuff like that. Okay, you know what? Mutton Chops is up to bat. I like it. Alfonso Hirsch. Hirsch? Alfonso Hirsch? Okay, you know what? Alfonso, your head is about to explode. <laughs> That's one thing that I realized. When I go to first person, he has no head. It's not that I am taking control of his head, it's that his head is removed. So all of these people are just standing here watching a headless guy wait in line. When the omnipotent, terraforming creator of this park assumes direct control of one guest, their head explodes. Planet Coaster, man, is darker than you think. Is it bad that I even enjoy riding Light Line 1? Because it gives you a really cool look at the park, and it reminds me a lot of Jurassic Park. You know, they get into the shuttle and it brings them around, and you know, it's just so freaking cool. I'm really proud of this park, I gotta say. I did not expect to build something this cool in Planet Coaster. I didn't even think that this was gonna work. Honestly, I just wanted to give it a try, but it turned out way better than I would have expected. Look at all the people that are slack-jawed already. So we're gonna get off right here, and the first thing we see is Chief Beef. Give me a burger. Well, apparently Mutton Chops didn't enjoy the park because he got off the train and then he got back on and left. So now we are going to be Tessie Hutchinson because she has an amazing pair of, uh, I was going to say pants, honestly. She's wearing leopard print pants, but tits works too. I think this might be my husband. You better buy me a damn hat or I'm going to be pissed. 
You're doing a great job, Scruffy. You wouldn't want anybody falling down these stairs because of garbage, because uh, it's a pretty long fall. I'm not sure why I would want this to be my very first experience at the park, climbing up a thousand flights of stairs, but it'll be worth it once we get on that bad boy. I gotta say, this place looks awesome. It looks so much better than I would have expected from first person because I haven't done anything in first person yet, but everything is so big and daunting over your head and it has so much depth to it, which is the biggest thing that I wanted to work on was making it so it didn't look like it was a lot of things, individual things placed down on an empty plane. So I put a ton of greenery and scenery, every single little area has something. There's nothing empty on the top of this ship and it looks amazing. I'm so freaking proud of this. And where are we going? Get on a ride. I think we're gonna jump around from person to person because every time I pick one person, they either leave the park or wander around, and I want to experience as much of the park as we can in the final episode. So to start off, we are gonna be Brian to Allen, and we're gonna ride the Kirby Scurvy because this is still the ride that I'm proudest of. You had better be shitting your pants in terror by the end of this. Ooh, here we go. Look at all the people that are still waiting to get in. Suckers, oh God, okay, whoa, there we go. It looks so much better with all this stuff. Like that sail is just so big from first person. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Being able to look at stuff while you're on the coaster makes such a world of difference. Did you like that? Is that a pooping yourself face? You are having some kind of tremors or something right now. <laughs> well, you better pop your medication because we're in for a whole lot more. Whoa, okay, down we go and back up and then around. <laughs> And we get to look at the uh, lookout tower as we very slowly loop around. Okay. <laughs> hey, people. Are you guys enjoying the Ferris wheel? That does not look safe. I wish I could turn around the whole way to see how the people behind me are doing. This guy seems to be doing all right, but the worst is yet to come, okay? The scariest part of the ride is right up over the horizon, I'm pretty sure. That blind loop. Okay, here we go. So we do a little turn to set ourselves up. And then I think it's this, right? Okay, okay, whoa, okay. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Being upside down and like diving forward, not being able to see the rails anymore, still my favorite part of the ride. But look at the top part of the ship. It actually turned out really well. Triple loop time, oh yeah. <laughs> and having rides below the roller coaster, Fantastic. Yeah, this worked out really well. I'm super happy with the top part. I'm probably not gonna go on every single ride. I should probably mention, like, stuff like that. Who cares, right? Oh boy, that's a tree. Very close to my face. Yeah, the, the, the super boring rides, who cares? I put them there to fill space, to make kids happy, but do you really wanna see me ride a merry-go-round? I may have also sold out in between episodes because there was no way for me to cover the entire park with pirate themed entertainers. It would just have been Captain Lockjaw everywhere. So now we have a bunch of corporate entertainers. This is the hot food store guy. We have a bunch of chief beef guys. Um, like Lockjaw is still around. So we still have pirate themed uh, bubbles getting thrown at him. But like even the princess, it's not piratey. But like, look at her, she's just, she's just adorable. She just kind of bends over and waves at the little kids and spins and stuff like that. I'm, I'm still happy to have them. There's a hipster furry that kind of freaks me out though, right? Like I understand that it's hot fox coffee and she's selling coffee by being a hot fox. Really, did they go that far? I only just put that together. <laughs> you people are being brainwashed into buying their stupid furry drinks. I mean, everybody knows that the Gulpy T-Rex knows how to have way more fun. So before we go on another ride, I figured maybe I'll do a quick tour of the boat because I was gonna do it first person by people walking around, but they just don't wanna do what I want them to do. So you guys remember the entrance, which looks pretty sweet. Captain Lockjaw is gonna be immortally there. There's lots of shops and stuff along the way, entertainers, uh, bubble mermaids and stuff like that. There's a lot of really cute scenery going on here. This is something that I'm really proud of. So this is the second coaster that we had, right? and it's kind of built into all of the other stuff below it. So we have the toilets, we have all of these shops and ATMs and stuff like that kind of built into the bottom of it. And to get on, you need to come in and around and like climb up and then to leave, you need to go out around the harbor near the uh, Kraken experience. 
Looks awesome. Okay, you know what? Maybe we should ride this one. So is there anybody going on right now? Yeah, okay. We are going to become um, Barbara. The start of this ride is super intense because you're inside rather than just sitting on a deck. Whoa. Oh, right. It's one of those ones. I forgot. So you, you get to look down rather than up. Okay, that should be interesting with the entire park below me. So how is this gonna go? Oh my god, I can't see anything. So freaking fast. Okay, slow down. Whoa, okay, there's a lot of stuff here. So many trees and buildings. When I placed the buildings, I knew it was gonna be close, but I didn't think it was gonna be this close. Okay, the music doesn't really fit in. It's a short coaster, but that was freaking awesome. I thought we were gonna hit stuff like two or three times. Overall, really cool little ride. Short, but terrifying, because you think you're gonna hit stuff on the way down, and it fits so well just in that little tiny nook of the park. I wish this end of the park would get more traffic, though. I said this last episode, and I still haven't managed to remedy it by putting a ton of stuff down here. Like, there's two coasters down here. Those are the big attractions in Planet Coaster, but people don't come down. I feel like if I had my time back, I would probably make a second entrance and a second train to bring people up here, because, I mean, there's all those people down there, like in the mosh pit and nobody up here riding the grog wash, but I, I want to try to ride it anyway. So can I experience this firsthand ride camera? Okay, what are you doing? Whoa, whoa, you can't just, okay, no, I'm sorry. I can't help you. I didn't do that. <laughs> it's just an animatronic taking over, killing all my employees. That's fine. Whoa, okay, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, Th whoa, <laughs> this is a neat little coaster. Super, super compact. You can see that I'm just going over and over the same track, but all the rocks and stuff like that. Wow, it's actually longer than I would have expected. Through, whoa, little through the waterfall. Are you still murdering her? She can take it on the chin. She's a Captain Sauce Planet Coaster Giant Pirate Park employee. I know I say this for a lot of rides, but that just doesn't look fun, right? It just looks like vomit. You're not going anywhere. You're not seeing anything. You're just being thrown around and having your butthole come up through your mouth. I think I found a bug. I meant to get on that ride and I told it to get in a seat and I'm not, I'm not in a seat. I'm not even kind of in a seat. I'm going through the ground. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> okay, I broke the game. How do I always do this? <laughs> Best ride ever, it literally launches you into space. You see what I mean? Way better than the vomit ring over there. I am in first person perspective, right? I'm in seat, so if I go back to cinematic and then I go on the seat, am I, nope, I'm still not in it. So maybe the seat camera for this is broken. <laughs> or maybe this is where people actually sit. I don't know, I haven't ridden this ride before. And uh, oh God, I don't think I will. I really appreciate the level of detail that you can get into this game. And I don't mean my build in specific, but like the fact that you can zoom in on somebody working and making pizza and stuff like that. You can zoom in on the individual pizzas in the freezer behind the employee, or you can zoom all the way out and look at your giant park, like on a massive landscape. It's something that, it was a big selling point for the game. I can understand that, but most games don't have that level of detail and manage to like handle it without lag. Like this is relatively smooth for me, even though I have like a thousand bushes and a million individual people wandering around and getting lost and freaking out. I didn't end up doing much more with the castle. I felt like it kind of served its purpose. I could have added lights on the inside and people on top, but I wanted to spend more of my time like making the park look more dense. And also I should mention, we used almost every ride, which is pretty cool. I mean, there's only one that I couldn't fit in, I think, two maybe. One of them was very space related, looked like a ship, and the other one was a magic carpet. It just, it was too far beyond the scope of a pirate ship park. But we have like multiple merry-go-rounds, multiple um, swingy legs. I don't know what you would call them. We've used multiple rides multiple times, as well as just about every single ride. So the park is very diverse. I think it would end up making a lot of money if stuff would stop breaking down. Like right now, Almost all of my employees are quitting. Like, I don't understand the management level of the game. I just wanted to build something cool. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I think that might be it. There isn't much more for us to go on. We've gone on all the coasters, all of the rides we've experienced in past episodes. I, I don't really want to do it over again. The biggest thing that I wanted to do in this video was see the complete park, like the whole picture from a guest's perspective, because 
it's impressive. I'm really, really proud of it. And it took so much time. It's been a huge series on the channel that I really wanted you guys to see like what it's all amounted to. I'm not really sure if I'm going to end up doing more Planet Coaster. I know people are going to tell me to start another park or something like that. But it's like I said, once you've seen me build before, you're not going to watch me build again. People say that they will, but, you know, if you look at the views on the episodes, they don't do particularly well. People stopped and they lost interest pretty early on. And I feel like this is the biggest and most creative thing that I could ever build. Like, there, there's no way I could do better. I, I honestly cannot top myself after this, so... I think this is the ultimate pirate ship park. But I think that's going to be it for Planet Coaster, guys. And thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the series. I just wanted to say that at the end because, you know, I've said it before. I used to make stuff like this in games or I would draw or, or be creative. And it would never really amount to anything. It didn't really serve a purpose. No one would see it. No one would be able to appreciate it or enjoy it. And it felt really empty, and it's one of the biggest reasons that I started YouTube, so when I spend hours and hours building something like this, you know, people take a little bit of enjoyment out of it, a little bit of entertainment, so thank you guys for letting me build this giant pirate ship park. But thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>